Uh. Big day for Kick Degeneracy. They broadcast two crimes live in the span of 12 hours. That's a new record, baby. Give it up for Kick. Huge round of applause. They're really we streaming right now on that, uh, on that, what's it called? Degenerate website? That's what they call it. Hey, but we watch Redo. We watch anime in general over here. Getting down to business. Really busting new ground here. Usually it's only one crime per day. That's yes, the quota, but they said, you know, hold my Johnson. We can do better. July 4th's right around the corner. Oh, Let's my. celebrate the only way we know how. With crime. It's nothing new for the platform. That's kind of become Kick's entire brand identity. It's basically like this quarantine zone for unhinged weirdos that the Joker would have recruited for his gang out of Arkham Asylum. And they basically set it up like zoo exhibits where edgy middle schoolers can go in and flick boogers at the glass as they laugh at the fucking clowns on the other side getting themselves hurt for a couple of extra viewers. Anyway, I'm only going to focus on one of the crimes from today for this video. I might make a follow-up for the other one. But for now, let's focus on this baffling display of lunacy black man or white man i mean yeah what's that man name just snags or whatever his name was on kick going crazy he was black had a little pakistani indian it, i'm gonna say it it's gonna be a minority off oh, rip so a kick streamer harassed this couple in public the couple then started arguing with this loser who got so butthurt that this couple dared argue with him and touch his phone as he put it in their face, jamming it down their throat like he's giving them a fucking endoscopy, that he, in response to their argument and touching his phone, pulls out a gun and starts threatening to murder them. He says multiple times that he's willing to blow them away. He's ready to kill these two in cold blood because his feelings got hurt that they insulted him. It gotta be a young kick streamer. Ain't no way that's a grown man. Ain't no way. Hey, pause. Yeah, pause. Hey, gotta be a young, a young, a young minority. Got it. Gotta be. Gotta be. After he started shit. With That's what I'm guessing. Them. You pussy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You can't trust them based off the box alone. Bro, ain't got no fade. Mind you, I got it. I ain't even got a temp fade, but come on now. Bro, got a sky top. Come on now. Look at this. Come on. I love the POV from Nampa Stream Prime. It shows the real you. That's a grown man. That's a grown man. That's a, it's always the bad haircuts. Yeah, that's a grown man too. That's not. That's, I thought it was gonna be a little boy or something, like a little Jack Doherty or that little boy that was running in um L.A. grabbing, grabbing people food, touching it. Right, y'all seen that clip too. But I thought that's. I thought that was what it was gonna be. You gotta appreciate your height, your balding, and your few palma art. You ain't shit. Who gonna you sock who? Who, who, who gonna sock him in the face? Do you get what are you doing? You better, you better let go of his shit. But do you want to you? Where you at, man? Grace, shuts. Hold on, you messing with the wrong one. You supposed, you supposed to speak game right there. Turbo douchebag has his chat on screen, and I had to censor it because they just keep saying some awful shit and putting links to things that I have no idea what they are. But I'm not taking any chances with it. They just keep calling this woman a whore. So he went up to her. He started insulting them. And then the chat was like, whore, what a whore, look at her, there's a whore around. Hey, anyone else just sneeze? It's because we're allergic to whores. That chat sounds like me. I ain't gonna lie to you, it sounds just like me. That's like his whole chat. Great community he's fostered here, and that sounds yeah. about par for the course for this kind of content. If you can even call it content, all it is is this guy trying to turn himself into a human punching bag, but he's so fucking sensitive he can't even play that role well, he can't even be the heel. So the second <laughs> someone challenges him, like here with the woman, like insulting him and then like slapping his phone, he snaps and brings out a gun. I mean, off the haircut alone, he probably don't. I mean, he's on kick. You can go and just chat on kick and just find the one, to be honest with you. On Twitch, too. You don't have to do much. You don't. Tinder. Bumble. Hinge. You don't have to do much. You can walk out. Go to Walmart. I work at Walmart. You think they not there? Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, yeah, I got burnt, bitch. Shoot her. Shoot her. Yeah, she, she's in that guy on my phone. Oh, you want it? You want problems? You want problems, too? You want problems? You want problems? You just grab my phone. You just grab my phone. You don't talk my shit. Don't talk my shit. Don't talk my shit. Don't grab my shit. I I'll promise you I'll shoot the shit. Put let That's a whole nother man. This, this a light skin saying this. And I be talking car I be talking hot trash about light skins. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm. Hey Billy, you said you wanted them, bro. Come get your people. 
let it go. Don't touch my shit. Bro's got the Glock set to Wumbo here. The size of this fucking piece is actually pretty crazy. Uh, maybe it's just like the angle of the camera here, but that shit looks like a Roblox gun. <laughs> what an incredibly stupid thing to bring a gun out for, especially considering he started this. I don't know how he would never expect someone to slap his phone when he's actually putting it directly in their face. He is basically the one that's instigating a physical confrontation, not only by being an insufferable douchebag that's harassing random people, but he is getting as close to their face as he possibly can, like trying to put their skin under a microscope. Like, I have no doubt if you looked at his footage, it'd probably look like Ant-Man when he was shrinking to get to the quantum realm. Like, he is so close to them. And then- Bro said, us back, I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, that's what white people think we are, ignorant, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You gotta do better. You gotta do better. Oh, for me, I'm not taking that, I'll drop him. Bro got a gun. I mean, before you even see that gun, bro shouldn't have knocked him out. He shouldn't, he shouldn't have knocked him out. He ain't do nothing yet. But still. I mean, bro was being disrespectful. Off that alone, just, just get your girl and just walk away. Just walk away. If then bro would just keep following you, you got the right. You got the right. The natural human instinct know. in a situation like that is to swat that garbage away. Like, I don't know how he wouldn't expect that. I promise you. Who the, why would you grab me my phone? You don't understand what trouble you're getting yourself I, into. What? What trouble? That woman is speaking to him. That woman, ha that one, hey, she got more common sense. She got more sense than this bum right here. That's a fact. Let go of my shit. I promise you I'll stop. blow you away. But I promise you I'll blow you away. I promise you. You about to get blasted. All right, all right. What? She has the blick. She don't have it. Bro got the gun. The, the girl don't have it. Bro got it. Yeah, you she touched us first. She touched us first. She touched us first. He even goes as far as to say that she touched us first, as if he had nothing to do- She's a woman that don't have a gun. We ain't see a gun on that woman. Let's keep it a buck, bro. You ain't gotta do nothing to the woman. Just a little- You gonna send her flying. Just a little- You got her flying. You gotta worry about the man. And they ain't do nothing. You went and harassed them. Your mans did. With how this whole thing started. It's her fault. She's crazy. Someone help. Crazy lady. She hit my phone. So I'm going to kill her, and it's justified. I feel threatened. She hit my phone, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start shooting. All right, it is 100% his fault, and he is 100% a bitch for this. Oh, to pull out. Oh, Charles. Oh, Charles. Charlie. My goodness, man. A gun. Yeah. On two people that you've just harassed and are now willing to kill because they dared argue with you and touch. He is right. He is. I ain't lying. Your phone. Hey, Char hey, my boy right here, a golden content creator too. Y'all see what Asmin Gold been doing? That hoarder? I gotta look and see. I see him on, I seen him on um a thumbnail. Yeah, I think they went and done toward his house again or something. That you were shoving in their face. You are such a piece of shit. Mm. All right, I mm. it's public. It's public. Put your fucking in. All right, yeah. Fuck. fuck out of here. He fucking sprayed, dude. He fucking sprayed. He sprayed all Get out of here. Alright. Fuck out of here. I'm a fucking You stupid. Now you can hear the other guys say, you sprayed everyone. So I'm thinking what happened here based on the rest of the clip and also the events preceding it. Because that male's starting to pull up on him. <laughs> Come on, man. He getting tired of all that disrespect. That's what, that was, that's what was going on. You would too. I don't. I mean, I'm saying you would pull up on on that little light skinned boy right there. One of the people on this goober squad, the fucking goof troop here, actually maced the couple. The Charmin Ultra Soft squad not only brought out a gun, but y'all sprayed these that couple first, then pulled out a gun. Y'all weak for real. I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all weak for real. They also maced the couple because they dared argue back after being harassed by this loser and then slap his phone. That is craziness. To me, this seems like these streamers are using this content as a convenient excuse to try and get a rise out of people and then assault them. And that's why Kick got a bad got a bad rap right now, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie to you. Them and uh that, that Pakistan Pakistani Indian man, I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all just making the whole site look bad, bro. So they bring mace, they bring a gun. I bet they also have fucking taser too, maybe brass knuckles. Like what else did they bring here? A fucking golf club to go last of us two on someone? <laughs> it really feels like they just want to hurt people and they're using these pranks 
as a, a vessel to maybe have some way of doing it and trying to argue that it was self-defense. Like, oh, they just reacted really bad to our prank, so we had to shoot them, or we had to mace them. It's unhinged. It's absolute insanity. Y'all know how I like unhinged. Naruto, shout out Bar Barack Obese, go to content creator too. He's great up. Mm. Fuck out of here. Put the away. All way. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, listen, hey, yo, 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 just right You said, you got big hey, bodies, you have I don't record, you dumbass. Just go, go. The delusion with the statement this guy just said was like hearing the brown note. I almost shit my pants. It is so unbelievably, unfathomably delusional. My body just had like an actual reaction to hearing it. He said that they started it, the couple, and that he's recording it, dumbass. Brother. This is incriminating. <laughs> hey, bro didn't even have a 2.2 GPA in high school. Let's just keep it a buck. He, he's one of them. Just straight up retarded. Ain't no way. Bro got a job at DG. God, I'm telling you right now. He do. And if Kick paying the bills, I mean, he's the cameraman talking crazy. The dark skinned man, the one that harassed him. The light skinned one, probably the one that sprayed down uh, that mace. Incriminating for you guys. You have recorded your own crimes here. You're doing the police's mm. job for them. This is not going to make that couple look bad or look in the wrong. It's you guys. You don't, want you, don't talk to me. You got problems too. You want problems? What's up? You want problems? Bro came here trying to de, de escalate the situation. He, this man is a random. Let bro walk. Before you get pieced up, man. I'll blow you away. Uh, really? Uh, really? Okay. All right. I don't want to fight you. Just go. Why don't you want to fight me? Because you guys are fucking. I'm not. Bro, I don't. He don't want to fight you because your man's got the gun. It, bro, what, you got a crowbar in your head? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Y'all weak for real. I just fucked you up. Like, when we got the cayenne pepper, you guys can. You guys, you guys use pepper spray. Your boyfriend's a bitch. Your boyfriend's a bitch. Says the guy that just pepper sprayed them. He panicked because they dared insult him and argue back, so he went into his fucking toy box to pull out every little. Dark skin pepper sprayed. Okay. Dark skin pe uh, pepper sprayed, walk back, light skin, put out the gun. Mm. Gadget and gizmo and doohickey he could find. A gun. Pepper spray, it's crazy. It that is. Crazy as fuck for no reason, LMAO. Bro, why she grabbed this shit? She got me pissed. Yeah, me too. Where, I don't even... You sound like that. Me too. Me too. Hold on. He ain't sound nothing like that. That's too much for him. That's too much. That's. He, he ain't sound that, that, that masculine. Me too. That's how you sound, bro. Talk like Michael Jackson. LMAO. Bro, why she grabbed this shit? She got me pissed. Yeah, me too. Where, I don't... Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You need water? Act like nothing's wrong. Bro, I'm fucking dead, bro. Y'all better not mess with that old woman. Yeah, oh boy, y'all better not do that. Huh? We all did NTA for confrontation. Why? What are we putting on here, man? No, what? No, no, stop, stop, stop. No, no, they I got don't, him. I don't want I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing, sir. No, get him. Get him. Get him. You know you just recorded everything, right? So you saying to the officers that he didn't do anything is immediately disprovable by just checking the VOD that you filmed, you absolute bumbling moron. Holy shit. So one of the guys he threatened to shoot went and got some nearby officers here smart man thank you somebody oh he snitched he snitched he did the right thing you hey we ain't we ain't in no game we here to protect the community come on now we gonna tell who yeah. then took matters into their own hands to arrest them for literally waving guns around and pepper spraying people yes Control 60 by Gibson Sorry. Red Cromwell. Sorry, I'm, I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. Hey, you don't have to hurt. Hey, you don't have to hurt. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. You don't have to stop that. Fuck the cops. Stop. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Please. Don't hurt me. Stop. Nah, you see how soft they sound now. Nah. Don't hurt me. Please. Don't hurt me. Stop. Stop. 
Please don't stop. Don't hurt me. Please stop. I am. I am. I am. I am. This is such a fitting conclusion here. He starts whining and screaming, don't hurt me. After he just pepper sprayed and threatened to shoot an innocent couple over an altercation he started for his dog shit stream. You couldn't write a more fitting poetic ending to this stream. And it happened so quick after the event. I mean, that's just, I mean, that's absolute cinema. Don't reach. I'm not reaching. Hey, that's a fact. That's a fact. And they just straight up retarded too. Put your hands back. Put your hands back. And you ain't sure, Fuck sure. all these okay. cops. You're not fucking listening sir, to me. I am, I am, sir. I'm sorry. Actually amazing how they keep saying that they didn't do anything, they're innocent, when all you have to do is rewind the stream 30 seconds to see him have a gun in his hand, threatening to blow them away. Actually just threatening to murder people, and they also ended up pepper spraying innocent people as well. All from shit they themselves started. And this is why you keep a gun on you. I don't know if um that man, the couple, the man in that, in that re relationship had a gun. Imagine if he had it and just shot him. We imagine if he had it and just shot him. Sup, Unk? Charisma, what I told you about that, bro? I ain't no Unk. I'm 23. Ain't you like 21? I'm like an older cousin. I'm like an older cousin. Come on, now. And the chat was going on about how corrupt the cops were and all of that. When that's a bunch of hooey. They had just hooey. been told that there is a fucking lunatic that's waving a gun around threatening to murder people and also just pepper sprayed a bunch of people. Like, the cops are responding to that. That is a dangerous person. That's a threat. And they handled it pretty well, all things considered. I should have shot him on sight. That's what should have happened. Both of them. Everybody in that group put them down. I ain't going to lie to you. I Yo. can't see exactly what happened, which led to the takedown. But from the angle, it seems like he tried to, like, run up the escalator. So then he, like, grabbed him and took him down. But I can't quite tell. But regardless, this guy has a gun that he's clearly not afraid to just bring out and threaten to kill people with. So, I think they responded pretty well, all things considered. And this is absolutely deserved from the streamers here, and I hope they spend a long time in prison. I have mm. no idea if they will, but they absolutely should because they are not safe to be in society. I'm gonna say it, since nobody else gonna say it. I hope they get packed up. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Where's Dexter at when you need him? Come on, man. Yeah. Where, where, hey, where my boy at? Come on. So yeah, I just had to talk about this. Just more huge kick degeneracy here with this broadcast Dexter would do them so so dirty prime and I mean it could I mean who knows it could have turned into him actually shooting people on stream and that is scary that is horrifying but yeah anyway that's about we got it. that before so, yeah. today's we had that before that buffalo shooting I ain't forget that yeah making kick streamers look bad it don't